You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we were doing a recap of Fast Lane. Vroom. <laughs> there you go. I was waiting for it. You need the automobile noise. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't even notice if, I don't, I'm not sure if they were playing Oh, it every it. time. I figured, because I know they've done it in the past. I just wasn't really paying that much attention. So, I mean, we've been saying this for the longest time, that it is absolutely not the competitors on SmackDown, but 100% the writing. Oh, yeah. And it was so obvious. Huh? They put on a good show. Yeah. There was actually, well, look, certainly compared to what the week to week is, mm-hmm. everything was done better than what we normally see. Well, the problem is, is that the builds were very crappy, so you didn't really care about the match, and it came across good, and you're like, oh, that was a nice surprise. Yeah. I guess that's true. I, I mean, I guess. Yeah. I guess that's the best way to put it. It's, it's right, really, yeah, really hard for... Uh, to care about stuff going on? A, a little bit. Yeah. When the build is god-awful. Mm-hmm. I mean, thank God Shane McMahon was there. I, I don't yeah. know what I would have done without seeing it was, him. It was funny, because they went, came, or they stopped with the video package, and then his music hit. Mm-hmm. I'm like, why is he coming <laughs> out? Why? And apparently Goat Boy had a, a, a family... They mentioned it on several occasions what that he was he was uh not there because of uh, a yeah, family a, obligation yeah he had a wedding to go to no just it's just funny uh, because i didn't they, even hear him talk about it once it on the pre-show they said it several times during oh, the, the only thing i saw on the pre-show was the match oh same here oh okay yeah oh. They, they they said it like right before the match <sighs> anyway yeah so and uh, and don't worry we made you Remember that there is another show. It's not just SmackDown. We had to see a whole Roman Reigns promo. Oh, we yeah. got to see all the Ronda Rousey stuff. Yeah. And then a Raw Superstar showed up, but that was okay. Yeah, it, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense no. why they they let us know about the mixed match. Uh, we need to get to 11 o'clock, so, you know. So dumb. Let's put all this stuff in there. Uh, anyway, yeah, very quickly, uh, the... Pre-show was just Ty Dillinger teaming with um, Brizongo. Brizongo. They did uh, Fashion Files, apparently. Um, oh, and, did they? Yeah. Uh, well, they showed like a small clip, like they've been doing. Oh, okay. Like, I, go to the do- go to uh, our YouTube page and watch it there. I was making dinner at that point. And I walked in and Ty was coming out, so yeah. that was all I yeah, saw. You, that was right before that. Yeah. Um, of course then, it was. And then uh, it was they were up against Bojo Rawley and Shelton Benjamin and Chad Gable. Yep. Um, and this is we got guys on the roster let's throw them out there and have a match yeah well, that's technically what the pre-show is for it's true so it's not like it's you know <laughs> and pretty much almost all the active members of the roster had it were on the show minus uh mike canellis yeah but he doesn't care because he hasn't been on tv in a very long time i don't know how many other people there were yeah that's true there really isn't that many other people on yeah. smackdown yeah um but like, yeah, I think Tamina's hurt, and she's mm-hmm. the only yeah, woman yeah, that wasn't. Out. Lana wasn't there at all. She's yeah, she wasn't even out there with Rusev because yeah. Aiden was well, there. Well, she's never with Rusev. No, no, that's true. Um, but yeah, beyond that, I don't really think there's that many active. Not really. Yeah. Whatever. But yeah, anyway. um, Ty, well, I got the one with a super kick, right? Uh, Over Mojo, pin Mojo, I think. Yeah. Oh, and it says a super kick to a tiebreaker. To oh, that's Joe. right. That's right. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. Happened. Whatever. Um, moving on <laughs> to the main card. Oh, well, yeah, that's why I kind of didn't really care too much yeah. about talking about it. It was a completely irrelevant match with yeah. people that really... Oh, and care. the Mojo told people he didn't care about being a wrestler because all the fans were chanting, you can't wrestle during the match. Good. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> all right. So, uh, well, so, yeah, good thing WWE doesn't promote their uh, superstars as wrestlers. So, well, yeah, it's true. They are sports entertainers. Yeah. So, so Mojo's got something going there. It's true. I don't uh, know. I, yeah. Anyway, moving on to the main card. We open up with Shinsuke Nakamura versus Rusev. Yeah, for a match that had absolutely no build, they uh, they put on a hell of a show and yeah. uh, kind of made me eat my words. Well, they just threw it together on Tuesday. Yeah. Well, so. no, just the simple fact that I thought it was going to be, you know, everybody pissed that Rusev lost, but it was... Oh, 
yeah, 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 I know what you mean. Yeah, just yeah, everyone yeah. have they were doing back and forth with uh, oh yeah people a, cheering for Shinsuke and people cheering for crowd. Rusev, which is good because mm-hmm. like you said, it could have been bad where people just didn't right. want to see. Well, Nakamura not even that. I just figured Rusev. the result would have been oh oh oh. You mean yeah. just like booze? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I think people are too too behind Shinsuke. If anything, this was the best opponent for Rusev. Oh, yeah. Because putting him up against anybody else and having him lose was nobody else either. Well, <laughs> but just in theory. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, so, uh, but yeah, this, like you said, there's a good match. Mm-hmm. Um, there was a lot of points in time where it seemed like Rusev actually would have gotten the upper hand. Yeah, um, no, he definitely looked strong throughout yeah. the match. Um, he tried the accolade, I think on a couple occasions. Mm-hmm. A lot of stiff kicks. I think at one point Rusev hit like a super kick and it like knocked uh, Nakamura like f- he flipped over from mm-hmm. it, um, and then uh, yeah. Sh- Shinsuke kind of got I don't know came out of nowhere but he got Rusev after he put the accolade on him mm-hmm. he got up and he hit him in the back of the head with, with the, the Kinshasa, Kinshasa right yeah, yeah yeah and then he got up again hit him with another mm-hmm. one and uh, so yeah yeah but the, yeah they made a, a couple good spots where rusev kept rolling out of the ring to collect himself and oh yeah, things yeah like yeah. that so they, they they built it really well well yeah because nakamura did his like putting his hands out and saying God. come on <laughs> and uh rusev was like he no. started to get ready and then he rolled out of the ring he's no. like no nah, this is on my time yes so it, it was a good match mm-hmm. but eventually shinsuke goes over with the kinshasa not a surprise here well yeah obviously not gonna have well i should never say yeah well there was no reason to have nakamura lose there you go so it sucks for rusev but the match was good um and uh so yeah yeah that was that and then we got the uh united states championship Mm -hmm. with uh bob rude defending against randall orton yeah um a little bit of a surprise here um yeah term is in terms of quality yeah, well, because we kind of expected it to be a boring slog of a match that well, just ended with... I mean, again, the build. It was, it was based off of the top ten originally, yeah, was, and you had Jinder involved. It was definitely dumb. And that's not taking anything away from Jinder, but the fact that we saw Randy Orton versus Jinder for, what, half the year? Uh, no, it was like three months. Was that all? It was from, um, like, May until, like, July. No, oh, yeah, because yeah, he fought Shinsh, and wow, that felt a lot longer yeah, than was, okay. He held the title. That's what it was. Yeah, he, held he held the title for half a yeah. year, mm-hmm. but he only feuded with him for a few months. Yes, um, but like like we said, uh, Jinder actually didn't get get involved with the match at all, which was surprising. Yeah, he was told to go there to stand backstage and look until uh, after the match. He's gonna watch. Yeah, um, but this was a, it was actually a pretty good match. Um, Randy Orton seemed a little more involved yes. than he normally mm-hmm. is. I mean, we still got all of the uh, the check marks where you know we get the draping DDT, mm-hmm. we get the power slam thrown onto the uh, guardrail yes. instead of the uh, table. Yes. Um, but uh, but yeah, otherwise it was good. Mm-hmm. Surprisingly, this ended. It well, it didn't end out of nowhere, which was nice because like there wasn't actually a build to the end of the yeah, match. Yeah, well, there was one point in the match where they were like three quarters of the way, and you thought it could have ended. Oh because yeah, they had back and forth, mm. and then but yeah, yeah no, eventually, uh, Rude was going for what a blockbuster, right? He set him yeah, up. Yeah, that for was it. weird because obviously he wasn't doing it mm-hmm. because he like dove forward, forward instead, instead of, of flipping, flipping over. over. <laughs> But it, it, I guess he was technically going for a blockbuster, mm-hmm. and then he got hit with an RKO. Right. I guess that's what the setup was, yeah. Yeah. And uh, Randy Orton is your new United States champion. Yeah. I, th- um, I think we both expected him to win the title. We not just yet. didn't expect him to win it yet. Yeah, because I figured Jinder would have played a role mm-hmm. in the match. Yeah. Um, but when they showed the replay of the, the uh, RKO, it was beautiful. Like, it was perfectly oh, it was, placed. It was a good setup yeah, yeah. and everything. But uh, at least we know that... Orton's gonna put some work in when he's against Rude. So supposedly, uh, Randy had asked to take the entire WrestleMania season off. I know there was rumors about him taking a good portion of the beginning of the year off, and yeah. then he pretty much didn't go away. He was yeah. there here, 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 and there. I should say, which I thought was kind of funny because now he's gonna be mm-hmm. in a. Well, I don't know if what how big the match is gonna be, but he's in a. 
like WrestleMania. Fe- yeah. yeah, WrestleMania feud. Yeah, because after the match, then Jinder came down, right? Yeah. He attacked uh, Orton, right, I think, first, and then yeah, well, Rude Orton hit him, was the champion. Yeah, Rude, Rude hit him with a ring. glorious DDT and then hit uh, Orton with a For good glorious measure. DDT. So Rude stood tall, even though he lost the championship. Mm-hmm. So, you know, they at least didn't make him look weak, not that he was going to look weak against... Someone like Randy Orton. Yeah. You know, well, it's the it, it only wasn't, title that he hasn't know, won in it his illustrious career. It wasn't Rusev versus Randy Orton. Oh, yeah, it wasn't a squash in 10 seconds. Is that SummerSlam, right? Uh, no. 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 Uh, yeah, yes, yeah, it was. Because Corbin was mm-hmm. against Cena. Right. At, uh, mm-hmm. at SummerSlam. Because I'm like, no, Cena fought Rusev, but no, that was at Battleground. Yeah. Their flag match. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, um, man. So, so up next, we had a, a backstage segment with mm-hmm. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn in the oh, locker yeah. room. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, basically, Kevin's like, well, what was the deal last week? Because obviously, they don't speak between, <laughs> obviously between not, stuff like they're this. They're not traveling. They're probably doing uh, yeah. house shows. Yeah, what the hell is that show? Uh, not ro- road trip? Not road trip. Ride along. Ride along. Thank you. <laughs> Um, but yeah, Sammy goes, no, that, don't worry about that. That was, that was Tuesday. Mm-hmm. It has nothing to do with tonight. Right. I'm still going to do what I said. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and yeah. And then up next, we had the highly anticipated women's tag match. Um, <laughs> at least it wasn't a six woman tag. It's true. But uh, then again, we got this, we got a six person tag on the pre-show though. So it's true. Um, but yeah, it was an Italian Carmella against, uh, Becky and Naomi. Uh, Becky wore Faces her. lost. Yeah. Um, Becky had her um, fire attire on, I guess. Fire attire. She uh, she should have been with uh, Seth Rollins in the mixed match challenge. He could have wore his flame pants. <laughs> it would have been the perfect duo. It's true. <laughs> um, yeah, this this match wasn't very good. A little sloppy. Oh yeah, it was. It was a lot more. They were a lot more ambitious than they uh, should have been. I yeah. Guess. Not that they necessarily went for anything too crazy. No. But there was a lot of stumbling. Particularly when Natalia was involved, she did a lot of that. Mm. Yeah, um, just yeah, and it was thrown together, so there was really no. Oh well, yeah, there's the it was no desire. To... The, the match kind of just got made mm-hmm. on Tuesday, just like the Rusev and Nakamura match. Um, yeah. Somewhat surprisingly, like I said, uh, Becky and Naomi lost. Yeah, um, <laughs> it's a very weird ending because. Um, Natalia, I guess she went got to up grab. on the apron with the briefcase, yeah. right? And Carmella wanted her to give it to her, and she's like, "Come on, come on, come on!" And then she ended up just—I think Becky hit her right yeah. on the apron, and she fell off the apron. Carmella hit Becky with a super kick yeah. and then pinned her. Yeah, that so. was it. So it didn't play any factor in it. Nope, it was very strange. Um, but yeah, it was. Yeah, you know. Uh, was a, maybe this was made to make it more believable that Carmel is able to cash in. But at the same time, yes. I think that it would make more sense for her to wait until after WrestleMania to cash in. Yeah, I think that's possibly the rumors going around that she's going to cash in on Asuka and just lose. Yeah, that's probably yeah. what will happen. Yeah. Um. So, but yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Moving yeah. on. Yep. The tag team championship match, the Usos versus the New Day, and yes. probably what their sixth or seventh pay per view match. Uh, close. Yeah, it's got to be somewhere around there. Yeah, but uh, yeah. So this match was uh, basically one t- team doing the uh, other team's moves. We got to see. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. The New they Day. Were, they like hit the midnight hour, and mm-hmm. I think. Uh, one of the Usos went for like the Trouble in Paradise mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Yeah, and then yeah, yeah, and then uh, the New Day hit the uh, Uso. What was it? The Super Kick and the Splash or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then they were going for the Double Splash, and then I think that's when all four men were down and out. Right. Yeah, um, I thought that they have gone for like uh, suicide dives. That's why they were all on the. Outside. Oh yes, yeah, you're right. Uh, the Usos both flipped over the ropes yeah. onto the new day on the outside i know they were all on the outside and then the bludgeon brothers music hit yep um just a funny note when they were coming out and it was i guess revealed that kofi and xavier were going to be the ones for the new day Mm -hmm. (laughs) 
I, I think it was Tom. He's like, oh, they're the New Day's going with their speed formation mm. or something like that. Yeah, he did say that. <laughs> yep. I'm like, that's kind of funny that you put it that way, but it's just kind of like, Man. why? Why say that? I don't it know. Doesn't make any sense. Yeah. But whatever. Yeah. I mean, in the match for what we got to see was good. I mean, oh, yeah. It's always good between the two teams. Not much. Yeah. But uh, yeah, like you said, the Bludgeon Brothers came out and uh, well, they beat the crap out of everybody. Yep. So much so that they needed to be escorted out with mm-hmm. on. Oh, who was it? Uh, uh, Xavier. Woods? Yeah. Yeah. Because got... they did their double power bomb onto the steps, right? Yeah. Or at least the top of the steps. Yeah. So, uh, um, yeah, and then they went to go attack uh, one of the Usos with the hammers at one point. Yeah. <laughs> it, was just, it was very odd. Yeah. Because it, 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 like, completely killed the pacing because of the slow brooding, I guess, pace of the, the <laughs> did, beat down. Did you hear the guy near the uh, entranceway that was like, you guys aren't going to do it, and then they did it, and he's like, you guys did it. <laughs> No, I missed that actually. Oh, it was so good. Uh, man. So that's pretty funny. I, I'm guessing we're gonna get what I thought we were gonna get. A triple threat. Yeah. It's definitely possible. It's going to be a multi man or multi man mania. Because uh, apparently a bunch of matches look like they're gonna be set up that way. Well, I guess it's just trying to get more people on the card. Yeah, so. right. It, and it's not like multi man matches hurt anything. No, but sometimes it kind of feels like it's unnecessary, but a little bit. But the build with the IC title works. The build with the US title works. Ish. Um, this tag one feels forced having right. the Bludgeon Brothers be in it. Mm-hmm. Um, if they did John Cena versus AJ versus Nakamura, that would have felt more natural. <laughs> a little bit. Um, I, I don't have as big of a problem as most people would with that. No, it's just that. Um, not that it matters now anyway, yeah, but it doesn't. yeah. Um, and then I don't think anything else is kind of leading to a triple threat or anything, right? Um, yeah. What? We'll talk about it in the main event. Oh, you, you, you think that's what's going to happen? It might. All right. We'll, we'll talk about it when we get to it. All right. Yep. I, I was thinking the same thing, but I was like, no, why would that doesn't make any sense to Look, do that? Th- all right. Uh, yeah. So uh, we have a backstage segment coming up next. Uh, yeah, yeah. AJ is interviewed by Renee Young. Mm-hmm. And basically, AJ says that he's going to make it through this, and he's going to win, and he's going to WrestleMania <laughs> face Nakamura. <laughs> That's when Nakamura walks up, and he's like, get the hell out of here. Shut up. I don't care. And then he leaves, because Nakamura's going to say, hey, I'm going to beat you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, no, I'm going to win at yeah. WrestleMania. Uh, so. Good stuff. And we got the women's championship match with Charlotte Flair defending against Ruby Riot. Yeah. Uh, uh, Riot was by herself when she came out. Yes. Yeah. She That's... said they had said something about uh, her trying to, I guess, prove herself by mm-hmm. coming out alone or something. Um, going at it alone. But I, I, I think obviously it was meant to be, oh, Let's let's surprise everybody mm-hmm. by having them come out. Yeah, and then eventually the Riot Squad made their way out. Yeah, and they came through the crowd, I guess. I guess. And obviously people care about them because they made zero noise when they came out. I, they I had always, to have been visible for a while before they came over. Yeah, based I mean, off I, of where they appeared from. Eventually, just saw them show up, and I was like, oh. Yeah. Okay. Well, what happened was I, I, they were both on the outside, mm. and then Charlotte like turned around, and the two of them were standing there. there. I got gotcha. so, um, so yeah, but yeah, no, no, right. She put up a good fight. She they made her look strong. Yeah, and uh, I mean, it's not not a real surprise. She was obviously the strongest of the three in the ring, well, and, yeah, character wise mm. and everything. Mm-hmm. But uh, she was able to hold her own. Yeah, uh, um, got off right away with the riot kick. Right as soon as she no, she went for one early. They I both went she, for their finishers. Yeah, no, uh, Ruby hit it right off the bat. Right in the beginning of the match, mm-hmm. and then Charlotte kicked out. Mm-mm. Okay. No, what happened was um, she hit one later on, and she kicked out of I it. I could have sworn she hit one, like, right in the... Maybe. No, the first thing she tried to do was, the was that. Uh, and okay. then Charlotte... She oh, went that was when she close. was distracted by the Riot Squad when they just came out. Mm-hmm. That's right. Okay. Yeah, and then Ruby That's went, when I first started paying attention yeah. to the match. Ru- Ruby, <laughs> went, Ruby went this close, and mm-hmm. then Charlotte went for the figure That's four, right. and Ruby got out of mm-hmm. it, and she did the same thing. Okay. 
So, fair enough. But she did hit a riot kick, but Charlotte kicked out. Yeah, okay. Um, so, after Liv and Sarah come out, mm-hmm. or shortly after, um, Naomi and Becky come out to kind of, like, scare them off, and then the two teams played no factor, really, no. at all for Well, because there was a point where, well, Becky and Naomi were in the ring, because I guess, what, the riot squad got up on the apron, right? Um, I don't remember how they... Well, I think to... I think Charlotte was over on the on like near the ropes mm-hmm. by where they were. Oh, when they and started. they went to grab her, pull her out, mm-hmm. and for whatever reason, Becky and Naomi decided to take the shortcut through the, the ring, ring to yeah. get to them. And the referee saw him. Was like, get out of here. Mm-hmm. And then what was it like? Ten. Se- I, I guess yeah. At this point, Charlotte was down in the corner, mm-hmm. so uh, Liv and uh, Sarah were attacking her in the corner for yep. a bit and then the referee realized they were out there and told them to get lost because they stopped and then he put the two of them together it's mm-hmm. like oh wait hold on she's in the corner and they're they're, they're standing next, next to her yeah oh so he kicked them out too which i i felt was kind of like a not a long enough time yeah. for ruby to have the advantage yep. to really be impactful um it's true but whatever yeah um but yeah charlotte eventually hit a spear and then set her up for the figure eight and uh ruby tapped out almost right away yeah almost immediately yeah there was a cool spot because uh, charlotte had her in like the electric chair position and dropped her onto the top turnbuckle it just looked really nice oh yeah right before oh that. yeah when because it was funny because she like fell backwards mm-hmm. and then she like flung forward yeah i at first i'm like wow that was 100 percent ruby <laughs> <laughs> but i guess it was yeah it, it looks spot on yeah like it's it's good i just don't want Liv and sarah to kind of hold ruby back um well because know. it's not like the whole absolution thing where Paige was kind of their mentor you know mm. i mean this is it, it's hard to say yeah it's it's tough it depends how they go with it um uh, well the you know the smackdown women's division has been kind of like all Poo-poo. messed up <laughs> So th- there's a chance that after Mania and they finally figure out what they wanted, or once they, once they shuffle them. Yeah, well, I was gonna say once they get that title on Oscar like mm-hmm. they had planned. Yeah, they'll probably start, you know, starting a new set yeah. of storylines. And I would assume that you know, with the possibility of getting cruiserweight tag titles, that there we will eventually see women well. ones. Yeah. I think you would need a much bigger roster. I feel. But if you have Sonya and Mandy on the same show is like just say uh sarah logan and Liv morgan well at least I, you would have two teams yeah but my, my point is that you just you can't really sustain it with like seven people it's true which is really what their active roster is at that's fair pretty much all times but, but yeah at the same time you really don't have the tv <laughs> time to do that either yeah so it's kind of hard to yeah especially since uh raw will eventually have a champion that's on tv uh possibly yeah so, but yeah, after the match, Oscar comes down, mm-hmm. confronts Charlotte, points to the Mania sign, starts dancing awkwardly, hey. and that is it. So, uh, yeah, this is the match we were looking for, or I was at least. I'm sure you. Were. Um, yeah, and it it made sense, mm-hmm. especially considering that this build, or I should say, SmackDown's build, is, was pretty much non-existent. Because obviously the Ruby and Charlotte wasn't going to continue yeah, after this. Yeah, we were just waiting basically for confirmation about it. Mm-hmm. And then obviously Raw, they had Asuka, uh, Asuka just facing Nia Jax over and over again. With yeah, it was a of, little telling. A build of Nia Jax just facing Alexa for the title mm-hmm. eventually. Or uh, we don't know for sure that that's yeah, what's going it, to happen. The rumor is either her facing Nia or a multi-woman match. With having Alexa versus Sasha versus Bailey. It's possible. That's well, yeah, that think. would make sense to put all four of them in it or something. Oh, like yeah, that. you could put Nia in as well. Yeah. But and that'd be almost exactly last year's match. A little the, bit. The only difference would be that Alexa was swapped out for Charlotte. Mm-hmm. So. Yep. But I, I, I'd be okay with that though, because obviously Sasha versus Bailey has more build to right. it. But I mean, yeah. And it, it would alleviate the need to have Sasha versus Bailey as a singles match. That's true. So, yeah. I mean, anyway, I feel like it would be a little more important than a pre-show match, but oh, that yeah, the, yeah. the two of them I don't think would be a pre-show. I match. know, I know. I'm just saying, but I feel like that's where it would fit on the card because yeah, it could open the show. Yeah, for, that's be like true. the second match. Yeah. 
All right, so we're up to the main event. I I enjoyed this match thoroughly. Yeah, no, it was good. Uh, it was very entertaining. I, I enjoyed everything pretty uh, much. Um, and it, just before we start, we had said that maybe they should make this an elimination uh, an elimination match mm-hmm. to make it more interesting. That would have ruined it. It would have, yeah. yeah. Th- this being a uh, single fall match mate is what made this the match yeah. good. No, absolutely. Um, so yeah, this was AJ Styles defending against Kevin Owens, John Cena, Dolph Ziggler, Sami Zayn, and Baron Corbin. Yes. Um, so the match started out with uh, John Cena hitting everybody with AAs. Except for except AJ. Except AJ, yes. He did not hit AJ. Mm-hmm. And he, he went for it, and AJ is like, nope, nope, I know better than that. <laughs> So the two of them kind of started. I think AJ got knocked to the apron. He was going to go for a phenomenal forearm, and that's mm-hmm. when right everybody came to. Yeah. And then AJ walked in the ring, and everybody attacked John Cena. Yes. It was beat up John Cena time. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Without the hashtag. Yep. Um, but then, you know, there was just a lot of uh, two people battling yes. at a time. They, they did a lot of good pacing where... It wasn't like a lot of people just punching each other and over and over again. At no point was Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens together nope. alone until mm-hmm. the end of the yes, match. Yes, which was good. Yes. Um, but yeah, it would be like everyone beat up John Cena, and then they all kind of just slowly got knocked out of the ring, and mm-hmm. then there was just two of them. One person would hit a finisher on the other. A fresh guy would come Damn. in and Break the guy the who pin. got hit would roll out, and mm. then th- those two would start fighting. Yeah, and everybody looked good in the match. Yeah, oh, yeah, it was, it was good. There was a lot of good uh, good tandems going on. Mm-hmm. Dolph actually looked pretty good, too. Yeah. Um, he hit a bunch of zigzags, I think, actually, yeah. a couple of super Oh, there was that one cool spot where was Cena going for the AA, and he hit a, uh, a Famouser on him, right? Oh, yeah, he, like, threw him up in the air. He mm-hmm. hit a Famouser on yeah. him. Yeah, and then, what, Corbin threw Ziggler through some... Uh, plexiglass right the oh yeah in the stands the stands yeah they were what the blue jackets arena mm-hmm. right they were in columbus um uh corbin hit a a really really deep six <laughs> i think it was on it was, AJ. Either, I was, it was on say, aj it was either on aj or it was on sammy so many revolutions <sighs> i think How he's trying to break go? the record <laughs> Um, oh man at one point they're on the outside owens was trying to throw aj or i guess frog splash him through the announce table i think it was Is that what he was trying to do or is he trying to hit a pop-up power i don't know well owens was down on the table right no aj he just thought... owens was the one who was trying to to put aj through it right but i could have sworn owens was on because i saw shane look and i was like oh this son of a bitch is gonna climb up top <laughs> and hit him with the elbow through the table I guess um, one at one point because eventually it changed to uh, John Cena AAing. Yeah, well, uh, it was because AJ knocked Owens off. Yeah, and he fell into the timekeeper's area. Oh, that's right. And then okay. John Cena's like, "Oh, I'm gonna take my opportunity." Mm-hmm. Jumped up on the table and then hit an AA through the table on AJ. And AJ got taken out for a little while. Yeah, I was gonna say that was that was the the mm-hmm. end of AJ for quite. And some that's time. when we started seeing Owens and Zayn together, right? Because mm-hmm. they were both. I I think. Z- uh, Owens had just hit a Papa power bomb on somebody. Mm-hmm. They rolled out of the ring, and the next one up was Sammy. Yep, and then Sammy was like, "All right, I'm gonna lay down for you." Yeah, and Kevin didn't trust him that he was gonna do it, so he picked they, him. They unfortunately didn't do it as well as they should have. Yeah, Owens should have went on top, and then Sammy should have. Because Owens didn't go for a pinfall attempt; he just went to punch him. Mm-hmm. He should have went for the pinfall attempt, and then did the roll, yep. and then they did the roll up. Yeah. So, um, and then that caused the two of them to fight. Mm-hmm. Um, Owens went for a power bomb on the apron, but Sammy like jumped on the apron or something like that. Yeah. And then, um, you gave him like a back body draw or a drop onto the yeah. apron. How did Owens end up on the other side of the turnbuckle? I, I can't remember. Cause he did the, through the turn. I think that was after the super kick. What, Shane. Shane? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because, yeah, Sammy and Owens were outside. Oh, and, yeah, because he avoided him. And, yeah. yeah, I guess Sammy was standing in front of... Was he, he was arguing with Shane at this point, right? Um, I think Owens went over and started... Well, I, think, I thought Sammy and, and Shane had words at this point. Oh, what was it Sammy and Zane? Yeah, and because Shane? that's when... Owens went to super kick Sammy. Sammy moved out of the oh, way. Oh, okay, and yes. Owens okay. Hit this, yeah, Shane. It's funny. I got the, the thing mixed up. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, then that's yeah. when Owens was over, I think. Yeah, because Owens hit him, 
and kind of just walked to the side mm-hmm. and ended up on the other side of the turnbuckle. And then you saw Sammy just hit the uh, through the the ropes DDT. Yeah. Which is um, always a cool spot. And it yeah. looked so good because it almost came out of nowhere. Like, you, you weren't expecting it. All of a sudden, yeah, Sammy was, comes into the picture. It wasn't the long setup that mm-hmm. you normally have where yeah. he's just standing there waiting to get ready. Um, so the timing was good. Yeah. Shane had interrupted a pinfall attempt by, uh, of both Sammy and Owens. Right, I yeah. I think it was who. Owens first and then Sammy. Yeah. So shane obviously felt the need to get involved and this at that point is when i had the thought that i guess you had the same right. thought yeah where we have the two or the three of them i guess in a triple threat match it doesn't make any sense like it's better than dolph ziggler versus shane McMahon. that makes no sense there was no build to that <laughs> well so. i i guess yeah that that is very true but i didn't know if maybe someone was gonna win the title t- tonight well, and then, i was or, i was afraid of some build happening yeah but i'm just saying they didn't do it no 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 i know um also rusev versus shane would have been all right as well mm-hmm. um because owens and zane really should have a one-on-one not mm-hmm. a not a triple threat match right. with shane there but oh they, and then corbin went in the ring with the steps and was hitting everybody <laughs> <laughs> it was a funny shot because they were on the hard camera and there's two people down in the ring, mm-hmm. I think, and then you just see Corbin like uh, walk over and grab the steps and then just shove them <laughs> into the ring. It's like, why is he uh, doing that? Uh, yeah. Uh, Cena then I think hits him. No, with, well, uh, AA no, he hit, the steps. hit Dolph with oh, it. Yeah, it was Dolph. I think it was Dolph. Yeah. Hit the, yeah, hit Ziggler with an AA onto the steps. I don't think Ziggler's shoulders were even down. Oh yeah, and he went point. to pin him. Yeah. yeah. So and then Dolph. it got broken up. Yeah. By Owens, and then he hit a power bomb, and then when I guess Owens got up, no, no, no. Who did he? Who did AJ pin? Uh, AJ pin. Is he pin Owens? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, because Owens hit the power bomb on Cena. Yeah, and then AJ hit the forearm on Owens. Yeah. and pinned Owens. Yeah, because uh, AJ AJ had woken up finally. Right. Um, he finished his nap. Yes. So, uh, so yeah, it was, it was a good match. It was a very yeah. entertaining match. Absolutely. A lot of action. I'm, you know, these the ma- when there are this many guys in the match, it's usually pretty good, as long as they keep the pacing right. And... Yeah. Well, it's nice that SmackDown really doesn't have a lot of wrestlers that are not capable of putting on a good show. Well, you know what I mean? That's, that's the whole thing. Yeah. They have all the talent, which makes all the sense in the world why that would be... A, it could be your A show, but then you have this, this terrible, stupid terrible writing on making Shane McMahon the center point. It right? makes no sense. Yep. So dumb. Um, but after the match, you saw John Cena crying in the corner. Yeah, it was. And then the camera kind of looked at him, and they pushed the camera away, and then yes. it went to AJ, and then it just lasted forever. Mm-hmm. And I was like, "Wait, is something gonna happen? Everything happened. Where's Champa?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because that makes sense. They pl- they put the little thing in the corner, but it went away, so maybe they're not done yet. <laughs> exactly. um, but yeah, sh- uh, it was funny that Cena just pushed the camera away. Yeah. Uh, a funny note, on mm-hmm. upon Charlotte's entrance, when mm-hmm. she was doing her spinning around thing, she hit the camera with her. Oh, did she? It was pretty funny. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I like think there it. were a couple camera incidents. I they think were, Corbin hit the camera in the match too. Uh there was a point in time where during the uh one of the I guess it was the women's tag match mm. where the cameraman was just staring at Carmella's butt. Oh yes, yes cut, that's they right. Cut to the, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, cuz the camera's like literally up yeah, the butt. Yep. Yeah. It's like, "Oh, I don't want that camera angle." No. Immediately cut to the hard. Yeah. That's pretty funny. Yeah, no. Overall, they put on a really good show. Yeah, well, that's just the norm. SmackDown pay-per-views are good. Smackdown because it's TVs all about the bad. wrestling. It's not yeah. about the storytelling. I mean, come on, guys. So, uh, whatever. What are you going to do? But it's true. this is it. Everything else is leading to WrestleMania now. It's true. So, um, What do we have left to figure out in terms of WrestleMania stuff. What John Cena's road to WrestleMania is. It's uh, the most well, important thing. Well, supposedly he doesn't have one now. I know, which exactly. Which just means that tonight he's just going to show up on Raw and say, <laughs> all right, I failed again. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Please. And Kurt Angle's going to come out and go, John, your win-loss record shows that <laughs> you're unable to uh, have a road to WrestleMania. Yeah. Don't that, let the door hit you. That'd no be really out. funny, actually. <laughs> 
<laughs> like, sorry, John. I know we've known each other for a long time, but I, I just we can't keep you anymore. No. And if I wasn't in this match with Ronda Rousey, I'd and Stephanie, fight, yeah, but... I'd, I'd go back and we could uh, we could have a rap battle again or something. Yeah. <laughs> or I found a special guest for you, and have him fight the yeah. Rock. Yeah. Again, thrice yeah. in a lifetime. Yeah, three times. Yeah. Um, or you know, the Undertaker will show up. There's always a possibility. <laughs> Always possible. I know they said that we couldn't have this match, but we're going to do it anyway. John, you're asking the wrong people. I make the matches around here. <laughs> <laughs> we had a whole segment about it. Didn't you hear it? You, you really got to stop <laughs> taking a nap during the show. You should really pay uh, more attention. Oh, man. All right. That's so, all we got for you. This yeah. was our Fast Lane review. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.